understood the assignment. They have everything you need to create the perfect face in one place. Take your fine ass over to JuviusPlace.com or your local Ulta Beauty store and check out all of their luxury products that won't break the bank. Juvia's Place prides itself on presenting you with only the finest formulas and most pigmented shades. Take your look to the next level with unique eyeshadows, full coverage foundations, bold lip colors, and much, much more using my code WINE. Get you 10% off your online order. Go ahead and put her up. She was a friend of mine. <laughs> this bitch left with Kelly. <laughs> okay. She left with Kelly. Now, um, did y'all see the pictures of Wendy Williams with the, with the vapor? The eyes was like, bitch, they got me. They fucking got me. You know, as soon as a motherfucker get out of rehab, what they do, they hit a cigarette, bitch. They didn't. <laughs> to calm their nerves because they don't know how the fuck they going to act when they get out, okay? They going to see the motherfucking man. We know her, her drug of choice, Coke, okay? And vodka, clear only, okay? It don't even matter the brand. Now, um, Miss Miss Wendy Williams. Now, I, I seen something interesting, and I'm going to have to defend her on this one, okay? Um, at this point, Wendy is a lifelong cokehead, okay? And an alcoholic. Now, yes, the winos are calling motherfuckers alcoholics because we ain't alcoholics. We ain't alcoholics, okay? We drank, but we ain't alcoholics, okay? We drank responsibly here. Hit the wine glass. Now, um, told y'all that sis was in uh, rehab after y'all said, you gonna catch a lawsuit. Remember they said that last night, Jasmine? You gonna catch a lawsuit. The shit came right out of motherfucking rehab, Okay? Hit the motherfucking vape pen because she about to go pick up her shit. This bitch rolling up the window, loading, lighting the motherfucking cigarette. Yeah. Now, um, Kevin Hunter, interesting, posts a rather interesting message on Instagram. Now, I'm thinking this has got to be the dumbest. First of all, when you vegan, because he, he, he is promoting this new veganism. You know what I'm saying? He, he vegan this, he vegan that, but he's still fat. He's a carbitarian. He's not a vegetarian. He's not a vegan. He's a carbitarian. That means he eats a shitload of motherfucking carbs, okay? They call that vegan. They need that. I need to invent that and put it in the dictionary. I need to sell it. A carbitarian. He don't eat nothing but carbs, okay? No meat, just carbs. Don't eat no motherfucking vegetables, okay? Don't put vegetable or vegan nowhere near that, okay? Now, uh, anyway, back to the story. So, um, her brother announces that she's doing pretty bad. They're praying for her. Okay, I told y'all to pray for it. Now, Kevin decides, because it's his birthday, to get online. And how do you kick a bitch that puts you up when she down? Because who would know anything about Kevin if it wasn't for Wendy Williams? Who would know? Would you know him? Let, let, let's not get into his looks. Let's not, let's not get into his titties. Okay? Let's not get into any of that shit, Okay? Because let's be honest, that nigga wouldn't have made it nowhere near Hollywood, and that's why he ain't that now. That's why he in Florida with a barbershop. A fucking barbershop. How do you have a barbershop? Where's your hair? Where are you fucking, what are you, these niggas just be coming up with it. I'll, I'll start a barbershop. That's like me said, I'll start a weave line. I don't even, no. Now, he decides, as you know, reports are being confirmed, to say that, you know what, health is wealth. I told her money ain't everything. Let me, let me, re hold on, hold that thought. Let me read, because I'm about to drag this motherfucker by the roots he wished he had. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. Let me pull up this post. You guys know why we don't use a lot of posts? Because people can copyright our shit, okay? Copyright. He probably got me blocked on my troll page, too, because I don't went off on his ass. <laughs> he does. He does. The nigga blocked me. Okay. But the post went something like, Jasmine, see if you can look it up on your, uh, your phone. The post went something like, yeah, it's my birthday. You know, he has Sharina's big forehead ass in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, uh, it's my birthday, and, you know, uh, uh, I'm all about enjoying life, health is wealth, and I told them money ain't everything. Your health is important. True. That's true. 
But the last time I checked, the reason he was up was because Wendy was down. You know they met because, one, she was his dealer, and two, so-called protection. So-called, okay? I question that there, okay? I question that. I think she feels comfortable with anybody that's willing to supply her whatever she needs, okay? Dick, Coke, and vodka, that's it, and red wine on occasions. Now, um, I'm like, this nigga laying up and pussy that he won't even legally motherfucking marry. He done spiritually married a bitch, okay? Because he knows that if he were to get remarried, all that alimony and shit stops. All of it stops, okay? And I honestly think he wants Wendy to die because guess what? If she dies, he's probably entitled to getting a bulk of that fucking money. So you get on Instagram to kick the very bitch that put you on down saying health is wealth. And I told you money ain't everything. And that's the reason why you supposedly went and got a side chick. He done had a side chick, a mistress, the whole motherfucking marriage, the whole marriage. There was nothing Wendy could have done to keep to keep this motherfucker. And I'm just trying to figure out how you ugly broke and, and, and a motherfucking narcissist. And she, I I just, when that bitch rolls over and moves all your motherfucking money, okay, into her account, and then turns around and puts your ass on a hefty motherfucking child support that's going to equal to what you're getting in alimony or spouse support or whatever you're getting, we ain't gonna, we, I, I just, it's, it's going to be real different out here in these motherfucking streets, okay? Real, real motherfucking different. Because I'm going to be honest with you, karma ain't hit his ass yet, and I'm trying to figure out how you going to kick a bitch while she down, and bitch, you can go out here tomorrow and get hit by a motherfucking bus. Like being a vegan is going to help you to live longer. Being a vegan gives you quality of life, motherfucker. Quality of life that you have that you have off the back of your wife that overworked to take care of you and your bitch, your stinking ass bitch, okay? Your bitch that likes to get high in front of her motherfucking baby. Now, it ain't gonna last too much longer. Just like being a vegan don't help you live longer, okay? Vegans still get cancer. 